this one night was feeling particularly weak, so I physically had to drag him up the stairs. It took over an hour. Um, dragged him across the landing, and by which point I just burst into tears, and he just said, "Please don't." Cry. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't. I couldn't. I wasn't strong enough to to do anything. I couldn't cope. Basically, I nodded off, and then when I woke up, I wasn't able to stand or speak properly. Ambulance, please. She picked up on the symptoms and knew there was a problem straight away. Stroke isn't rare, and it isn't trivial. It's terrifying. It destroys lives. It puts a strain on family. It's the commonest cause of adult disability in England. Hello, ambulance. It doesn't need to be that way. We know that if we organise our ambulance services, our hospital services, our community services, including primary care, in a joined up way, that we can have a massive impact on stroke. I've been in the NHS for 25 years now. To me, this is revolutionary. Morale is up and it really does work. They're so proud. It's kind of here in the eye kind of moment, you just cannot buy that sort of enthusiasm. I think it's a really outstanding but very simple solution to some very significant issues. I think it would be a sin for us to go back to the way that we were before. Part of my job involves working with clinical teams to design improvement pieces of work. I love seeing patient care improve, but most of all, I love seeing what the staff get out of it, knowing that they've led a successful improvement project. I'm delighted that went so well, actually. We've done work to improve care of patients with sepsis. We've improved how we monitor and escalate patients who are seriously ill. You ready? Yeah. This week, we've got Hand Hygiene Week in the Trust. Thanet is a very popular retirement area. Patients in Thanet can be frail at the age of 50. We have um, significant housing growth going on as well over the next few years that will bring even more retired people into the area. We have a workforce shortage. The pressures on practice as a, a result of those um, things is that we've had seven close over the last three to four years a number of our GPs particularly retiring, and that trend's set to continue over the next three years. This has been happening over the last couple of years now at least. My stomach was really burny, headaches, sort of hot sweats in the night, nausea. I oh, actually ended up going to the GP almost every week. I wasn't getting any like answers on what was wrong with me. Recently I moved house and I signed up to a new surgery who do things differently and that's where it's all changed really. 